Hello everyone, we are here in front of the, the offices of General Hydroponics. <laughs> yeah, which is For hydroponic growers, the key is the nutrient solution. General Hydroponics developed the liquid concentrate three-part solution in the late 1980s. And we thought you'd like to see some of the more popular sizes for this product. 55 gallons of Flora Micro, Flora Grow, Flora Bloom are fundamental to growing a superior hydroponic crop. These are the most imitated nutrients in the world, but no company has duplicated our water filtration, purification, mixing methods, nor the supply chain that gives us super high quality ingredients to work with. That is not the largest size that we sell the nutrient in, however. That's one of the smaller sizes, 20 gallons. This is the largest size we sell the Flora Series in, and this is a 275 gallon. They're very popular for commercial growers. So to make a high quality hydroponic nutrient solution, the first ingredient we consider for liquid formulas is the water. And if we're going to formulate with water, it has to be super pure. This is one thing that distinguishes general hydroponics from other manufacturers. Our capability for water purification is second to none in the world. In order to produce general hydroponics nutrients, we start mixing in a large uh, mixing system. It is then transferred into a staging tank and then goes to bottling. certified organic materials to formulate our nutrients. This is a magnesium source that's Aubrey registered. That's Organic Material Registry Institute. It's the standard for organic formulation and meets the standards in the United States for an organic formula. It's a fundamental ingredient. kinds. Those are all orange. I think these are purple. Oh, no, yellow. But these aren't even ready. These have another few weeks to go. But that's a good carrot. These are, this is our systems area. And what you have here is each one of our individual systems set up on all of our nutrient lines. So each row is a different nutrient line. Uh, so these are onions. Onions. So you can actually do hydroponic onions. All day long. The secret is to use a plug and then only bury the onion like so far in. So like just the roots in, so the stalk grows up above it. Because only the roots need the water. Yeah. Otherwise you end up with like a rotten stalk. So all these have reservoirs that we fill and they recirc. But like when you get to like this area, there's no reservoir. We use injectors so that we can feed the whole three rows. Like all of this is being fed by these two tanks of nutrient that we custom make for us. And then we have, you know, a freshwater bypass. And then these are injectors. And so couple times a day, these will come on and feed all of the plants that are usually in this row. And then like that formula is slightly different than this formula. 
And so we plant certain plants over here, and certain plants over there. Yeah. So we are not using drip traditionally. We're using these stakes. Okay. And so this will fit into one quarter, and that's what we have an abundance of. And it, it splits it, and so it just kind of sprays out. And so we really like these in here in the commercial section because there's no debris getting caught in them. In the research section, like sometimes cocoa will get through and then it'll clog your emitters. But if you're coming straight from like through clean water, these work great. Okay. And then when you don't need them, they work real nice as plugs mm. so you never lose them. Thanks. Thank you. This was just a little piece like this two years ago. Okay. And now it's, you see it stretches all the way down there. Hmm. Yeah, we got really good fruit earlier in the year. I'm pretty sure those are ready now. We have wasabi. I finally got it to look healthy. Like, I got it. I, well, they were doing it wrong. I found that uh, it kind of likes to be left alone and doesn't like to be a lot of wet. Yeah, well, this one here is a, a couple of succulents grown hydroponically in a very small pot. And again, everything's being switched over. But like my kilrabi are finally ready. All these broccoli are going to come out today because we just harvested. But I got purple cauliflower. Oh, look at that. Thank you. The fish, tilapia. When we got these, they were the size of your pinky fingertip. Here in California, you're not supposed to farm tilapia because it's such an invasive species. If it were to get into like our water supply, like it could totally take over. And they breed very vigorously because they uh, do live birth in the mouth. So they suck up all their eggs and protect the eggs. And then when the babies are born, the mommy opens her mouth and they can come out and eat and then they hide back inside. So they, they're real protective. So. They procreate very well. That's a good size kohlrabi. Uh, it's just straight the fish plant symbiotic system. 100% organic. Better than that. <laughs>